Hello everyone, my name is Tanya from Nana's Crafty Home. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to crochet the Triad's Puff Flower Stitch. This stitch is actually part of my Spring Rhapsody Blanket Crochet Along Stitch Tutorial Series. If you'd like more details about that blanket, you will find a link below in the description. You can head on over to my blog to get more details. This stitch is, I would say, an intermediate level stitch. We are basically working puff stitches. So the first row of our repeats is working a puff stitch over several stitches. And then for the next row, we're working two puff stitches on top of each of those puffs from the previous row. For today's tutorial, I am using Hobby Lobby's I Love This Cotton in three different colors. And I'm also using a clover crochet hook size H or a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. Let's go ahead and get started. The stitches worked in multiples of two and my sample chain is going to be a total of 30. One, two, three, four. For row one, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then in each chain across. Once you've completed row one with single crochets, we're going to turn our work and chain three for row two. That chain three is going to count as our first stitch and row two is our right side of our work. I'm going to work my first triads puff stitch and for this first stitch, I'm going to be working it a little bit differently than the rest and you'll see what I mean here in a minute. But for that first one that we're working, we're going to start in the next stitch by yarning over, inserting our hook into the next stitch, yarning over, pulling up a tall loop, yarning over, inserting our hook in the next stitch, yarning over, pulling up a tall loop, yarn over, insert our hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. So I have seven loops on my hook, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm going to yarn over and pull through just six loops. That will leave me with two loops on my hook and I'm going to yarn over and pull through those two loops. So you can see the stitches worked over three stitches and between each one, we're going to chain one. Now I'm going to work a triads puff stitch over the remainder of the row. But the rest of these stitches are going to begin in the last stitch of the triads puff stitch. So instead of working it in the next stitch, I'm going to place my first stitch in the last stitch. So yarn over, insert our hook into that final stitch of the previous triads puff stitch, yarn over, pull up a tall loop, yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a tall loop, yarn over, insert our hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a tall loop, yarn over, pull through six, yarn over, pull through two, chain one. So the stitch is worked over three stitches, but we're only ever using two because we're reusing that stitch from the one that we just worked. So continue that on down your row, inserting your hook into that last stitch, pulling up a tall loop, working the same way over the next two stitches, pull through six, pull through two, and chain one. So that continue on down your row. So I've worked that final triads puff stitch. I have one stitch remaining. I'm not going to chain one after that last puff and I'm just going to double crochet in the final stitch. Now I'm not going to turn my work. I'm just going to fasten off that color and I'm going to fasten on my next color at the beginning of the row that I just worked. So we'll fasten off that color and we're going to bring in color B and I'm going to attach that to the first stitch of this row 
<clears throat> which was the chain three. Chain three, one, two, and three. So now for this row, I'm going to be working a double puff stitch on top of each of those triads puff stitch from the previous row. And a double puff stitch is worked by yarning over and we're going to be inserting our hook on top of those loops. So you can see here this hole that's created at the top of each of those puff stitches. And I'm going to insert my hook just above those loops here into that hole, that space that's created. So yarn over and insert my hook in that space, yarn over and pull up a tall loop, yarn over, insert our hook into that same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. And I'm going to repeat those same steps in that same space to complete the stitch. Yarn over, insert our hook into that same space, yarn over, pull up a tall loop, yarn over, insert our hook into that same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. And now I'm just going to repeat that for each of those triads puff stitches from the previous row. Working in that space just above the loops, creating two puff stitches into that space. And just working those down our row. The trickiest thing about this row is just simply placement of your stitches. And once you find that space up above those loops, you'll be good to go. But that's pretty easy to spot. You can even, if it's hard for you to see, you can even feel that with your fingers. So just place your, your thumb and your middle finger of your left hand over right over that triads puff stitch and just press down and rub and there's a space that you can feel just above those loops and it'll open that stitch up for you, that space up for you so that you can easily insert your hook. When you've worked that final double puff stitch, you're gonna have one stitch remaining and you're just going to double crochet in that last stitch. <clears throat> and look how pretty that is. It looks like a row of tulips, doesn't it? If you wanted to take the stitch to another project and you would work on uh, row four, I would recommend that you do a row of single crochets in between these two repeats of stitches. So for the next row, I would change back to my color A, the green, and work a single crochet row, then come back and work a row of the triads puff stitch and then a row of the double puff stitch and then continue repeating that single crochet uh, and those stitch repeats throughout your project. Now, one note I will make if you're going to do that is uh, we do lose a stitch. Uh, we had 29 single crochets here from our first row and after working that row of double puffs, if you were to just work a row of single crochets in each stitch after row three, we would only have 28. So you would, to get back to your stitch count, need to place another single crochet in that row in order to get back to your stitch count to begin a row of the triads puff stitch. I hope you found this tutorial helpful today. Thank you so much for being with me. As always, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss a new video. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter, and you can reach out to me at nanascraftyhome at gmail.com. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.